What's up, everyone? I am Wink. And I am Kills. And this is Scream Cheese. Today, we are going to be reacting to the trailer for They Them, directed by John Logan and starring Kevin Bacon, Anna Schlumsky, and Theo Germain. So I don't know much about this movie. I've seen like maybe a brief blurb just a moment ago uh, on IMDb. I also noticed that it's already got 47 ratings and is like a 4.8. I don't know if this movie has been seen already if it like was at a film festival or something or if it's already getting like hate just like people that are just trying to dive bomb the uh the well rating. there are some 4.8 films out there that i've loved so this is true i'm not saying anything like that i'm just wondering if it's if it's actually a 4.8 if people have seen it or if people are just trying to mess with the rating i don't know anyway yeah. let's get this trailer up all right i'm hitting play in three two one go it's a great day to be alive, isn't it? Oh, Friday the 13th. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I thought with Kevin Good morning, Bacon. He's just and gentlemen. doing it again. I'm guessing that some of you, you're not happy. Maybe you don't fit in. People make fun of you. Well, I can't make you straight, but you give us this week and we might be able to help. Boys cabin over there, girls cabin over there. I use they them pronouns, as in they can't believe they're at this camp. I have zero interest in not being gay. There's no judgments in this room. Sometimes I wish I was invisible. I would understand it a lot more if there was Bible thumping and queer bashing. Do you even believe in any of this? Come in, please. Do you think your parents are disappointed in you? Sometimes. So what do you do? You try to make yourself special. You become they. Today, we're gonna be exploring traditional gender roles. Look how long they've been doing this. It's time to play. This could get a lot worse. Where's my killer? We need to get out of here. Taste? Just enjoy the sunshine and work on your tan. They slash them. Streaming only on Peacock, August 5th. Ah, so okay, the slash so is important. So the title of the film is They Slash Them. So, mm -hmm, okay. That's First that's, of all, that's kind of clever, but what were you going to say? That is clever and creative. What I was going to say is I have the ability to see the likes and dislikes on this, and it has 2.1 likes and 5.8 dislikes. When I say 2.1, I mean 2.1K and 5.8K. Yeah. So people do not like this. I'm guessing it's because of, of the nature of the obvious. Um, so it could turn out this might be a really good show, but I think there is something about that that may be triggering people because um, you mentioned on IMDb, it already has a low rating and you can rate stuff on IMDb before it even is released. Right. And I think that there's something about this type of content that is causing people to dislike it. Um, yeah, man. I wasn't really impressed with the trailer. Um, it seems kind of odd. The reason is if you're going to um, attack a a subject like this, I feel like you need to be a little bit more clear in what uh, your intention is and what you're doing. And it's so vague that it leaves a lot of room for interpretation. And I think that's part of the problem that they're getting right now as far as uh, people disliking it. Yeah, man, I think you're probably right. So when it comes to IMDb, usually I think for bigger movies, they have it shut down so you can't rate until it's come out. So that leads me to believe either number one, it's like you said, and it just happened to be open early for that. Or number two, it has has been shown somewhere. I think you're correct in your, like, it's kind of left up to interpretation. I'm not sure who's hating on this film. So my intuition tells me that it is probably not LGBTQIA people who are bothered by it. Now, you're right that the interpretation could be such that they are, 
it, it likely is people bigoted towards LGBTQIA people. And I only say that because I'm willing to bet that if this property is going to Peacock, that Kevin Bacon's putting his name on it, that there's all these mm -hmm. kids who are LGBT who are acting in it, I'm guessing that the themes and such are something that they agree with and they're going to look at it in a fair light. Um, I agree. I don't think that that they're gonna be the ones that are brigading the ratings. Now, I will also say just very quickly, man, I was relatively underwhelmed by the trailer, but not in a way where I would ever vote it down. It looks like a pretty like typical slasher and it's one mm -hmm. that I would probably <clears throat> go see. The only thing is that it has this undercurrent of the type of camp that it is. Mm -hmm. That just seems like a backdrop to create some of the tension and make Maybe some yeah. key plot points, but it seems more like a setting than it does like yeah. necessarily the highest level theme. I'm sure thematically mm -hmm. there are lots of things about about that, but when it comes down to like the exciting, this is a horror thing, dude, it's just a slasher movie. And dude, there are plenty of installments of the Friday the 13th series that are probably not as good as this movie will be, I think. I agree. And, and I think that um, I also was underwhelmed by the trailer. However, I will say that if I just look at what's taking place, all of the different elements that they have going on, I am actually very curious to see how this is executed yeah. and what what the story and the theme really is, because it, it's presented in a way to where we don't get any strong sense of what thematically they're trying to say. Right. I mean, I guess... So, um, is there an actual uh, release date on this? Yeah, by the way? this comes out in August. This is uh, August fifth okay. is when this comes out. And, and it, it is a standalone film, right? Yes, I believe this is. Yeah, it's an hour and thirty minutes. Okay. Hey, man. Uh, you know what? Honestly, it is different enough that I am very curious of what they are going to do with it. And like you said, it's Peacock, Kevin Bacon, so we know it's not going to be probably not going to be not something gonna be some ignorant uh, film. Yeah, it's not going to be ignorant. It's not going to be totally like weird and odd. I mean, it'll probably fall more into a conventional category, to be honest. But I am curious within that what they do with this, because it, it is uh, it's different, you know, as far as like I've never seen anything like, you know, yeah. what they're doing here. And so. I think this is this is kind of good. You need to open up the door for this. And unfortunately, yeah. like based on the dislikes, it kind of proves it even further that, yeah, we're going to yeah. probably have to do this a bunch of times until until it doesn't feel like people need to brigade it with with uh thumbs downs you know yeah and i, I am against like trying to f force a certain narrative into um a certain type of movie or genre but i am 100 percent for trying different things if if it's a good film it's a good film period and that's yeah. all i care about it is and, probably yeah. going to have to take positions um but it well, yeah, is, it's a valid backdrop. I mean, it, it's it's worth figuring out what this story is. All right. Well, dude, honestly, I'm stoked to see the movie. Um, And I, for whatever reason, man, you know, there's like this contrarian in me. And the moment I see something has like 5000 thumbs downs to 2000 thumbs up. Now it's my favorite yeah. movie ever. And now I'm yeah. going to get behind it. I don't I just can't yeah. not root for the underdog kills. Hey, it's human nature. We all do it. All right. Fair enough. All right. Well, that's why I root, that's why I root for you all the time. And I appreciate that, man. And I always <laughs> just keep losing, don't I? No, you don't. You're a winner. I don't disappoint you. Do I kills? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Beautiful. Well, let us know what you thought about the trailer for They Slash them also make sure to like our video subscribe to the channel and comment any scary movies that we should talk about in the comment section below kills and i have just opened up twitter accounts make sure to follow us there so you can hear all of our opinions on all things horror and maybe you know actually have a conversation with us you know all right folks we'll, absolutely we will see you next time peace out cheesers peace beautiful all right cut do you remember, and cut do you remember to record